sort of got a bit of cabin fever in the workshop at the moment. It's been pretty much flat out. So I'm definitely feeling like I need a bit of an outdoors job. The weather is looking good today and I've heard it's not going to be so good at the weekend. So, um, a real treat. Local farmer has got a uh, oak tree down. It's been down in his field for ages. I don't know how long. It's absolutely massive, this tree. So I'm going to go today. I'm nowhere near going to break it down, but I'm going to go and make a start on um, trying to reduce the weight enough to get it to the sawmill for the traction trailer. So there's a couple of things you might find interesting here. I've got my new um, saw, which I bought because there's three oak trees in the area come down. I didn't really have a saw that could handle a 30 inch bar. Um, now I do, so that's good. So today I'm going to give it a try with a new 500i, see how that's going. Also, um, while searching for some new chains, I come across this Rotec chain from Northern Arb. So I bought two, so just to put it in perspective, the chain for this would be about £12, whereas this Rotec chain is about a fiver. The chain for this, which is a 30 inch bar, now the steel chain for this is about £35, between 29 and 35 this chain is 12 quid. So it is a massive, massive difference. I've not used it before, so I'm gonna try it today to see how long it lasts. Obvious, I mean, not obviously, but maybe it's not as good quality as a steel blade. But to be honest, <clears throat> you could buy two of these and change them on site rather than muck about sharpening, come back and use your sharpened machine or whatever. So I'm quite keen, I'm quite keen to give that a try as well. See how it performs over the other chain and on the little MS201 as well, see how the, the, it performs on that, be very interesting. Okay, so this thing's pretty big. That's the first bit. <clears throat> Could have done that quicker, but <clears throat> wasn't exactly sure where it was gonna fall. I didn't put this tree here. But let's go have a quick look. Just next to me. Look at this, it's in the ground. Next to me is um just on my head. This is huge. Round two. Just leaving the workshop this is actually the closest oak tree to me it's just at the end of the village uh, quite a bit more work on this one because we've got a lot on the top it's been down for quite a while again uh, not as big at the trunk but a lot more wood because um, most of it's still here so again if i'm allowed to film on the farm i'll bring you along for the ride and you can see what, what gets done today should make for some interesting uh, live edge slabs that's for sure because this one's got loads of branches not quite as straight so anyway 
Let's see when we get in there and I'll take you with it. There it is, it's another biggie. A lot of big branches to deal with <clears throat> on this one. But lovely big straight trunk. Absolutely huge again. So I'm just gonna deal with getting rid of some of this so it's not above my head. It's on the floor and then um probably chopping off the root ball four meters, three and a half meters for the weight, cut it there, cut it there, and those are the bits that go to the sawmill. We'll see whether I'm gonna use my uh, chainsaw mill or bandsaw to deal with some of this stuff if it looks interesting. Get on with it. I knew it was going, but I gotta admit it made me jump. I knew that was going. Uh, it made me jump. It was gonna go a bit quicker than I thought. Okay, this is where you could have wasted your time and effort. Well, I'm helping a friend in the field, to be honest, but um, it's good. Rotten, solid, good heartwood. So there's some serious planks in that. Beautiful. I'm gonna split that in the middle now. Uh -huh. right through 
just the wedges holding it. Not bad, five minutes. So, see daylight. It's just, because it's in the ground there, it's all the way through now, it's daylight there. You can see it on the camera, there. Nothing holding it. It's literally the wedges there. To be honest, they'll probably come out with a, with a digger. I don't know if I'll get them out now. I might get one out, but. I'll try and get back here when the machinery comes to lift it. I think the farmer's gonna have to go to lift it first, um, and then possibly gonna go on to the back of a farm trailer to the yard, wood yard, or it's gonna get picked up by a grab lorry, depending how things look. One more to do the week after next, um, which is in the same area, so I'm gonna try and combine the lift. Thanks so much for watching as always. See you on the next one.